Hello. This is in the second house we rented. This is in Arles. Arles in France. And this is the top floor. And it's a little space under the eaves. And this is quite a large closet. Nothing special, but it's nice. So I guess if you had a couple extra people or ch a couple of kids or something, they could be up here. And the steps are not easy for me. There is a hand railing. And I'm starting at the top and I'm going down. Now this, see this is already approaching the third week of September. So this is 295 euros for the week. And if we clean it, that's the price. And if we ask the owners to clean it for us when we leave, we will have to give them 50 euros more. We cleaned our last place. He did most of it. He's very stingy and so he did most of the cleaning. Huge, huge closet, lots of supplies. Pillows, blankets, that sort of thing. Lots of drawers. Looks like a TV and a DVD player. There was no TV in our last place. And we didn't care. Now this is a bathroom. And there is usually, it's very rare to find a, a full bathroom in the American style. You know, with bathtub and everything. This one looks pretty doable. Some of them have been a bit tricky. A little bit difficult for me. Because I'm not very mobile. All right, now I will take you downstairs. And this is the main area. There is Wi-Fi, apparently, here. He's got the computer set up, little computer that he brought from home. And there's, again, a TV. We don't watch TV. We don't have one at home. But it can be fun for vacation. Here's the kitchen. There's a lot of stuff here. There's a Cuisinart, pressure cooker, all kinds of supplies. This is a dishwasher. There's a... A stove, a toaster, coffee maker, boiler. Here's an oven. Dishes, glasses. Lots of drawers and supplies and pots and pans. Here's the refrigerator. And this is a utility room. Now since there's no garden or um, balcony or terrace here, they have a clothes dryer. These uh, Clothes dryers are rare in France. Usually there's just a clothing rack, which there is here anyway. I saw one here. But uh, usually no clothes dryers, usually just a washer. But here we get a dryer. And there are quite a few supplies here. Theoretically, you may have to bring your own, though, when, when you rent a, a place. You may have to bring your own sheets, your own towels, uh, you, you know. Now, I don't know where the light is here. This is a little office nook. Oh, here's the light. Well, wait a minute. Actually, I should... There we go. Got my handbag stashed back here. And there's a huge armoire, which is closed. I don't know what's in there. This is a sitting area for watching TV, and I think people could probably sleep on it. So this house looks as though it could accommodate six people, which is what the last house we rented could accommodate. No problem.
much too big for us, but what are you going to do? Now this is my street. See, this is this is what's outside. The Roman amphitheater. Big circular amphitheater, like the Colosseum in Rome, because Romans built it about a century before Jesus, I believe. And there's my street. And here's my rented house. third floor is up there under the roof. This is Arl, famous for, among other things, Vincent van Gogh being here. And it is a beautiful day. There's all kinds of shops and services here. And it's just really nice. From what I've seen so far, we've only been here a few hours. But we were able to come early. You know, the guy said any time after 10 a.m. was fine. And he wasn't here. He told us where the key was hidden out in this little street. So we figured out how to get the door open. See all these little drawers? These are all empty. I guess you could put stuff in there. And there's a ceiling fan. That's cute, huh? So I'll be living here this week for about 295 euros. <laughs>